hi everyone in this video I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem I just turned on my lab environment and I am trying to connect to the Citrix uh, Zen server from the Zen Center console and uh, it is uh, it is not connecting and it is giving some kind of issues so I will just show you in a minute so I'm trying to connect to the Zen server. So this is the uh, Zen server machine that I'm trying to connect. It usually connects in like five to 10 seconds, but for whatever reason, today it is taking a lot of time, but the server seems to be up. If you see here, the Zen server, seems to be up yeah it is definitely taking a lot of time so uh, what we can do is let me cancel it okay and uh, let me try to uh, okay this is just for the troubleshooting purpose uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new server okay and I'm going to add the IP address which is 192.168.192 dot 168 dot 160.202 okay I'll leave the username as uh, root which is the default one and I'll type the password here okay I'll try to add and see how it goes Did I enter 201 or 202? Oh my god, let me try to uh, add it again. 192.168.16202. Uh, okay. 160.202. All right. I'm going to type the password. Okay, I'm trying to add. All right, it seems like uh, we are connected to the Zen server. So let me close this. Okay, I'm back. So this is my uh, VDI machine. So yeah, I think it is coming up. Yeah, it's coming up slowly. So, why my Zen server, why this was not working, why we were not able to connect to the same Zen, Zen server before. So, if you click on this, if you see here, the IP address is 192.168.160.149. Okay, this is the IP address of the Zen server. For whatever reason, uh, the IP address has been changed okay if you see the Zen server IP it is 192.168.160.202 but we have configured we have configured it to use 192.168.160.149 the reality is this IP address was right okay it's not that we have configured incorrect IP address this IP address was right few days ago the reason uh, the reason being yesterday we made some changes to the DHCP server okay we made some changes to the DHCP server and what happened was it has released a new IP today okay 
So today the IP has changed to 192.168.160.202 but previously it was configured to use 149. That's why we were not able to connect to this Zen server. So right now, like a minute ago, we configured it using the right IP address. If you remember, we typed the username, password and the IP address and we have entered the right IP address. And that is why we were able to connect to the Zen server without any issues. Okay. So let me, yeah, I think the console is also, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming up. Yeah, let me, yeah, the Zen server is up and I'll try to connect to the BDI machine as well. Yeah, the BDI machine is also coming up. So, yes, so we were able to connect to the Zen server successfully. So, this is what you need to check, guys. Sometimes in your, you know, lab environment or your production environment, if you are not able to connect to the Zen server for whatever reason, you know, some, if there is any activity that has ha happened in your uh, uh, environment recently, maybe from network side or firewall side or from, you know, something has been changed from the DHCP side, then... Uh, you know you have to make sure that you are correcting you are connecting to the right ip so in that case you can just go to the zen server and find the ip address and just try to come back to the uh, uh, zen center tools and configure it with the right right ip address to connect to the right zen server so i hope you got my point here and I also hope you find my information helpful and if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment and thank you for watching.